A very pleasant morning children. Welcome to our YouTube channel Academia Ambala. I am Mrs. Shashi Sharma. Today we will do a chapter from the book Moments. And the name of the chapter is The Adventures of Toto written by Ruskin Bond. But before we begin the lesson, a few lines about the writer Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond is an Indian author of British origin. Born on 19th May 1934 in Kasoli, Himachal Pradesh. His mother died when he was very young and he was brought up by his father and grandmother. He started writing from the age of 12 years. He writes stories for children. He has written over 500 short stories, essays and novels. The Blue Umbrella, which has also been made into a movie, a flight of pigeons are to name a few. The Adventures of Toto is a humorous and adventurous story of a naughty monkey named Toto. The grandfather had bought the monkey from a Tonga driver. Now, according to the grandfather, Toto was a very pretty monkey with sparkling mischievous eyes, pearly white teeth, dried up hands and his tail adding to his good looks. Grandfather bought Toto from a Tonga driver for just rupees five. The Tonga driver used to keep the monkey tied to the feeding trough and the monkey looked so out of place that grandfather decided to add him to his private zoo. And at home, grandmother always fussed when grandfather brought home a new bird or an animal so, Toto's presence was kept a secret from her until she was in a good mood. Grandfather and the author put him away in a closet opening in his bedroom wall, tied it securely or so they thought until they found out a few hours later. When grandfather and the author came back to release Toto, they found the walls which had been covered with ornamental wallpaper now stood out his naked brick and plaster. The peg had been wrenched from the socket and the author's blazer which was hanging there was in shreds. Grandfather was not at all angry. In fact, he was pleased. He thought Toto was a very clever monkey and if he had some more time, he would have tied the torn pieces into a rope and escaped from the window. But this was still a secret from grandmother. So he was transferred to the servants quarters where all grandfather's pets lived sociably together in a small mini zoo consisting of a tortoise, a rabbit, a goat and a squirrel. But that particular day, the monkey did not let any one of his companions in the quarters to sleep at night. On the other hand, grandfather had to leave for Saharanpur the next day to collect his pension. So he decided to take Toto along with him. A big canvas bag was provided for Toto with some straw at the bottom. The bag was closed. There was no escape for Toto. Toto could not get his hands out through the opening and the canvas bag was too strong for him to bite his way through. The bag rolled on the floor and occasionally jumped into the air, much to the exhibition of the curious onlookers on the Dehradun railway station. Toto remained in the bag as far as Saharanpur, but while at Saharanpur, grandfather was producing his ticket, Toto suddenly poked his head out and gave the ticket collector a very wide grin. The poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind, sir, you have a dog with you, you'll have to pay accordingly. Now in vain, grandfather took Toto out of the bay and in vain tried to explain to the ticket collector that Toto was not a dog or not even a crack root. Toto was classified as a dog by the ticket collector. Grandfather had to pay three rupees as his fare. 
and just to show his annoyance grandfather took out his pet tortoise from his pocket and said and what must i pay for this since you charge for all animals the ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise and said no charge it is not a dog the family also had a donkey named nana when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey nana on his first night in the stable grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable but to his surprise he found nana pulling at her halter and trying to keep her held as far as possible from a bundle of hay grandfather gave nana slap across her haunches and she had jerked back dragging toto with her nana and toto never became friends a great treat for toto during winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given by grandmother for his bath he would very cleverly test the temperature with his hand then gradually step into the bath first one foot and then the other until he was into the water up to his neck then he would take the soap in his hands or feet and rub himself all over and when the water became too cold he would run to the kitchen fire to dry himself one day toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself in the kitchen kettle until grandmother arrived and took with him half boiled out of water toto's brain was specially devoted to mischief he was always tearing things to pieces whenever one of his aunts came near him he made every effort to get hold of a dress and tear a hold on it one day toto saw a large dish of pulao in the center of the dining table and he just stuffed rice into his mouth when grandmother screamed he threw a plate at her the aunt received a glass of water on her face finally toto vanished into the branches of the jackfruit tree along with the plate of pulao now toto as we can see was not the sort of pet which could be kept at home for a long time he damaged things which the family could not afford and so grandfather and the family decided to send toto back and grandfather found the tonga driver and sold back toto to him and can you imagine for how much for just 3 rupees thank you and have a good day